Yep, looks delicious. This dish I, is a dish that I make for one. It's in the chapter called Home Alone. Cooking for one, just got a lovely piece of um, rockling. I love rockling, it's a great fish. Uh, it's easy to cook, it's got lovely flavour. It's not too big, not too small in terms of um, you know that fishy character. That's about 200 grams. That's a good feed for one. So before I um, actually cook that, I'm going to um, cut up a bit of onion. Now, because this is a dish for one, we only are going to use a quarter of this onion. We don't need more than that. A little bit of olive oil in my pan. Onion goes in. Don't be tempted to put more in. You know, I look at that and go, well, that's not much. But you're cooking for one, not for four. So I've got a capsicum. I only want one cheek. And then we just... Give it a slice and we chuck that in. And we just want to uh, soften that. Whilst that softens, I've got um, some snow peas. You just top and tail them. That just takes that little string. See that string there? So you take, you're taking that off. If you leave that on when you, when you eat your snow pea, you've just got this stringy bit that's not very pleasant. Same with the sugar snap peas. Take that string off. Ooh, onions and capsicums are starting to smell very nice. Beautiful, give the, these guys another stir. Nice, I'll just let the capsicum break down a little more. And whilst it does, I'll get into my uh, zucchini. So you only really need a quarter of that. And what I like to do is just cut it into batons. That's what I need. Done. So that's all our veg. Next step, and this is what I love about this curry and what makes it so easy, a jar of curry paste. Get a good one, last in the fridge. Oh, beautiful. All the work's done for me. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of the curry paste. This is a Massaman curry paste, sometimes known as um, an orange curry or even yellow curry perhaps. You know, this is something you could do on the boat really easily. You know, if you've got a little fridge on your boat, you know, you've got jar of curry paste though, sitting in there, etc. And I love this too, because this is the perfect size, you know, for a one dish or one person curry. It's just coconut milk, costs about a dollar a can, so it's pretty um, inexpensive. We give it a shake, and then we just pour that in. The curry paste, the coconut milk, all those flavors are just, just gorgeous, but I like to add two of my favorite things also. Just a little squeeze of lime juice, just to cut a little bit of sourness and a little bit of fish sauce for that fishy, salty character. That's, that's just beautiful. That goes in there. And um, then we put the fish in. Beautiful um, ling that goes into our sauce. Just like that. And then, just to make it a lot harder than it should be, oh, look at that, we put in our veggies. This is the hard part, folks. Pick the lid up, put it on, turn it over. Eight minutes, it should be flaky. Just like that. That's about, I don't know, six minutes. It's getting nice and soft, oh, beautiful. Look at our veg. Great thing about this is the veg cooks in the sauce, but we're not gonna overcook them, so they still have a little bit of crunch going. I reckon that's another four, four minutes and we're done. Okay. Nice little bit of rice. Look at that, see how it's just flaking, you know, if I poke it, that's what you want. Put that next to the rice, like so. Get our veg, lots of veg, it's good for you. And then, That's it. You've got lovely crunchy veggies cooked in that juice. You've got a beautiful, fresh piece of uh, ling flaking, some nice rice, curry uh, sauce. I'm home alone. I'm gonna go sit in my undies on the couch, watch River to Reef, and eat my dinner. Well, it's, I might have to wait, because I don't think it starts. Bugger it, I'll eat it anyway. Mm -hmm.